Hi guys, Sam from Walkgate Studios. Hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to do a little video on this stuff, uh, Dirty Down Rust and some an, an alternative way to use it um, to get a little bit more out of it. So the the premise, uh, premise of, of what I'm kind of doing is I'm mixing it with pigments. So this one's a MIG uh, sandy kind of pigment. Um, I've got some Vallejo black-ish slate, uh, dark slate grey, and I've also got some burnt umber. So three different um, kind of colours to mix with this to give some different effects. Um, it's something that I've been doing for a while, but some one of my, my good friends um, pointed out to me the other day that, that he wasn't aware that you could kind of mix it. So I wanted to kind of show you how I would go about it on a base um, so this base is just a 3d printed base um, that I'm going to do kind of three effects I'm going to do a little bit of rust on this side and mix that the the uh, dirty down rust with each one of these pigments and kind of show you what what you can do and how you can kind of play around with it so what the first thing when working with these pigments is I'm going to grab some of the pigment with a clean brush um, not the brush that I'm going to be working with um, and just put a touch of it onto my palette which is I'm going to use this lid as my palette for the time being um, but just grab some of the, the pigment um, out not too much you just want enough to to uh, to, to mix with the product um, and then put your pigment away um, you won't be needing that anymore and then grab some of your dirty down um, rust uh, I've shaken sh shake this up I'm going to shake it again because this stuff needs a, a lot of shaking um, but but what you're basically doing is putting the pigment inside the dirty down um, solution, the rust solution, and giving it just a little bit more of a texture. So I'm going to grab some of the, the dirty down rust now. I'm going to mix it with some of my pigment here. And remember, this pigment was like a, a lighter pigment, so this should react with the dirty down a little bit. And it kind of makes it, that pigment goes into the dirty down a little bit. So I'm gonna paint this on this side, so I'm gonna do it in, in order. I'm just gonna basically give this some smushy around so you can kind of see what this does with a little bit of pigment inside the dirty downside of things. You can put as much or as little as you want inside the dirty down, just to give the rust effects a little bit more of something. Um, and then I'm gonna wash my brush out keeping a clean brush is essential to um, making sure that uh, the brushes don't get contaminated with the other colors um, just because I wanted a, a nice pure test uh, taste of, of what this can do um, so okay that's the first one next one I'm gonna do is the dark slate gray and again I'm gonna grab a clean brush and put some of my slate gray on there Pigment. And again, as I said, like, I've, I've experimented with this quite a lot to the point that um, it's been kind of fun mixing it with colours to get different types of rust because rust, you know, is, is kind of crazy um, and it does react differently with different things. So, this is with the slate grey. I'm going to kind of give you idea this is like an oily rust that this comes out like it's kind of fun but as you can see on here already the uh, the, the good thing about the, these products the pigments and also the dirty down is you can work with them a little bit afterwards with some water so I'll you know, pop these all on here and you can see this is kind of a more of a dirty grimy um, kind of type rust washing out my brush. I'm going to do a third one with the burnt umber. And this is I, this just accentuates the browns in the dirty down already. So this is kind of cool as well. I'm going to go a little bit heavier with this just to kind of show you how you can kind of make it to like a rusty paste as well which is kind of cool. Uh, so grab some of rust solution. Not going to go 
too heavy with the rust solution. So I want all this pigment to be mixed in so it's more like a paste. Beautiful. You can kind of see on my palette how they, they're kind of coming out. Um, So you can kind of see the three different types of rust effect on there. This is heavy. I never ever leave it at that when I'm using this product, purely because there is so much you can do to working the dirty down off that you can kind of uh, make it a lot more realistic when you add a little bit more water. So both the dirty down and the pigments will react to me using water. So I'm literally just gonna grab some water on this and then just start working and bringing some of this off of this product and just cleaning a little bit off just to give it a little bit of variation in colors and build ups on there just so you can kind of see what it's like a little bit less i'm going to do the same with the the, the grimy one with the gray slate and i'm just literally just fresh water grabbing some of that paint and that pigment back off again leaving some of it on just so you can kind of see all the different variations of it and then the thick paste this one works really good when you start taking this back off again this one's kind of just completely covered it and it was a little bit crazy but Kind of see, hopefully that comes across on the camera, but actually putting a little bit of pigmentation in there goes a long way. This is going to take a little bit to dry, um, but this kind of gives you an idea of just a little bit of working with a, a small amount of pigments and with the rust effect and what it can kind of do. And as I said, I'm probably going to go back and work on this a little bit more and reduce this down a little bit more and leave some and give it a more of a random um, kind of effect. But yeah, that one was the uh, burnt umber pigment mixed in. That's the dark slate, which has kind of got a greeny, uh, it reacts with the rust effect. That gives it kind of like greeny grime effect, which is really, really nice. And this one is the, um, the, the sandy kind of color, which is again, gives you three different kind of colors of, of rust. But that, having the rust um, water soluble paint in there is like a, a medium really helps it and I'm, I'm going to do a little bit more on the camera and reduce this down even, even more I just you can kind of see you know with it with it mingling it in how realistic this this look can be when you're working on dioramas and those sorts of things um you can kind of reduce it down i'm going to kind of mingle them all in you'll still be able to see all of the effects but um just just for the artistic side of things i'm just going to kind of smush them all into each other and kind of make them look a little bit more realistic um but uh, yeah I, I love working with pigments and the dirty down rust on these sorts of things and for like necromunda warhammer 40k and dioramas and those sorts of things it's great throwing a little bit of pigmentation in there um and then working with them is is fantastic so really good use of the product the rust effect still gives you that that rusty stain should i say that on there as well but you can really get some good effects just with a little bit of tinkering around with some pigments uh, um, with the product so hope that's helped i hope that gives some people some uh, some some ideas on on usage and um, i'll kind of bring that closely you can kind of see all of the different kind of rust um bits that's been done to the base but yeah if you like this please feel free to comment and like this video um and uh yeah i'll try and do some more appreciate you all watching thanks ever so much cheers